Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now, and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. And here at 2A News Now, you get your Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no bullshit added in. I have some breaking Second Amendment news for you guys. The Supreme Court has refused to block the Illinois assault weapons ban. The Supreme Court refused to block a local and state ban on assault weapon sales in Illinois, rejecting an emergency request from gun rights advocates and a gun store. The vote count was not disclosed, and the court did not explain its action. Wednesday's move by the High Court is the latest example of the justices staying out of Second Amendment related disputes, at least for the moment, after the conservative majority last year issued a major ruling expanding its scope, according to a brief filed by Naperville which passed a local assault weapons ban. Whether the Second Amendment protects the commercial sale of a limited category of assault rifles within one municipality's borders has never been addressed by the High Court. The gun rights advocates had asked for the law to be placed on hold while appeals in a challenge they brought to the bans play out in lower courts. They argued that those courts have ignored last year's landmark Supreme Court ruling that expanded Second Amendment rights. Since the Second Amendment presumptively protects plaintiff's conduct, respondents must justify the challenged laws by demonstrating that they are consistent with the nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation. The new application with the court said, but because the banned arms are commonly possessed by law-abiding citizens for lawful purposes, it is impossible for the respondents to carry their burden under Heller and Bruin. The reason for this is apparent from Heller and Bruin themselves. There is no historical analog to such a ban. The 2022 Bruin decision instructed that lower courts look to the gun regulations that were in effect during the Constitution's framing to decide whether a current gun law violates the Second Amendment. The defenders of the assault weapons bans countered that the challengers had not failed to meet the procedural threshold for the emergency action from the Supreme Court. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul wrote in court briefs that the types of firearms that are targeted by the state's prohibitions fell outside the Second Amendment's protections for firearms that are commonly used in self-defense. The appeal of the dispute currently underway at the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals has been fast-tracked with the appeals court scheduled to hear the arguments in the case on June 29th. It's real unfortunate that the U.S. Supreme Court did not step in. But like I said, there's still a chance that the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals will overturn the Illinois assault weapons ban. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And if you guys could please help the channel out by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications, I would greatly appreciate it. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.